Today we are going to be making some Yayao Kusama dot pumpkins. So we're going to start with learning how to draw a pumpkin. So you're going to have this step-by-step -step guide to show you how to do it. So I'm going to start at step one, which looks like I draw something that's like an oval, not quite, it's a little pointier on the top in the middle. So I'm going to start more with a point and then the bottom is rounder though actually makes me think of an eggplant if you've ever seen one of those at the grocery store then i'm going to draw these two shapes on the side again they're not quite ovals you just take a line from this side and then you join it down here and you'll notice that these are not the same size and that's okay because pumpkins are often different shapes and sizes then it looks like I need to add a little upside down line here. And then I'm gonna add my stem. So I'm gonna draw two lines going this way and then an oval at the end. From here, I'm going to add two more lines on the side over here. And these will be pretty skinny and that's okay. From here, I need to erase these lines and I need to get my eraser. Because my pencil eraser is not very good. So I'm gonna use this. Now the last step we don't have to do because instead we are going to be making ours look like Yayao Kusama's artwork by following these pattern guides. So there's patterns for the center, the left, the right, as well as the stem. So I'm gonna start off by drawing, or by choosing what I want to be for my center pattern. And I think I'm going to do these eyes right here. So the first one in the middle is a really big one. And then they seem to get smaller as they go towards the top and bottom. Now I have one more, so I'm just gonna make a real small one down here. Now I'm gonna pick some patterns for the left and the right. So I think I'm gonna do these big circles here. Now you can make a different pattern in each one of your sections, or you can make some of them matching. So I'm going to make these sections matching. And then I'm also going to pick a matching pattern for these two. And I think I'm going to do this zigzag pattern. Kind of makes it look like it's got spikes on the side. And don't forget about the stem. The stem needs a pattern. So I think I'm going to do this one with the lines. Okay, when you're done drawing, you're gonna be tracing over your lines. You could use a black crayon, you could use a black colored pencil, or Miss Tritt is going to provide some markers that you could use. Now, they might not all be black though, because I don't have enough black for everyone to have one. So it might be blue, it might be purple, and it might be a dry erase marker. But whatever your class gets, you can use that instead of one of your own art supplies. However, you just need to return it to the adult in your room at the end of class. So once again, I'm just going to take this and just start tracing around all of my lines, just like that. Now, that's gonna take me a little bit of time to do, so I'm just gonna go ahead and show you a finished one I've already done. Now this pumpkin, you can see I traced over everything with black Sharpie or black marker, if you just get a regular marker. I colored it in with a crayon and I also had extra time, so I added a line design in the background. You can also use multiple colors if you don't want it to just be one color. And see, I added a different type of line design in the background of this one. So however you wanna finish off your pumpkin, that's up to you. But if you have time, definitely add a background. 
These are gonna get hung up in the hallway today. So when you are finished with yours, please make sure your name is on it, as well as your room number. And please give it to the adult in your room when you're finished. And make sure you go back to Google Classroom to mark that you finished your project.